welcome to another vlog week four and I cannot believe that I am saying this again but I am in Pasing Arkan again but this time for a good reason uh, last time when we were with Xava to get his glasses there was a photo studio and they were doing kind of like a lottery where you could spin the wheel and win a free photo shoot and I won a free photo shoot granted it is only 30 minutes and you only get to keep one picture but still I mean I'm gonna use the opportunity photo shoots in Germany are super super expensive always and uh, you know even one nice professional picture is worth a lot so I'm really grateful and I'm really happy for this opportunity so here I am I chose to wear this uh, really bright and pink uh, shirt because I want to make the picture a little bit like interesting, bubbly to show my personality of course I don't know what kind of photographer it is, how our chemistry is gonna be like and honestly if there is not even one picture that I like I'm still not losing anything and uh, that's actually the highlight of my day today so let's see how that turns out I'm not sure I can film you know with Datenschutz and all the different laws in Germany but I will keep you updated a bit later because I also have something very 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 exciting to tell you finally I have been keeping it in for so long and now I can announce it so yeah let's stay tuned for a bit later All right, I'm done with the photo shoot and I have my photo here, but I will just uh, yeah, show you on the side. And uh, it's a really nice picture, I like it. I didn't expect that I will like a black and white photo the most, but that's how it turned out. One thing that I wasn't like a huge fan was of course something that I was expecting. And in total he took 82 photos of me, it was like 15 minutes photo shoot and uh, there were some nice photos that I would have liked to have for sure but uh, he was like trying to sell me the whole package 80 photos for 300 euros uh, 10 photos for like 140 which I still find really expensive like would it, would it have been nice? sure but I don't know I don't want to have 10 photos of like me in the same outfit more or less in the same pose in the same lighting etc so for me it was not really worth it and to be honest i wouldn't have ordered a photo shoot if i wouldn't have gotten it for free yes i am hiding in the wine section because there is the most amount of the least amount of people so in the end i did go just for one and it was really hard for me to keep my ground and say like no i just want one picture uh, because the photographer was really pushing it like super hard but I'm out of here, the awkwardness is over and I will receive uh, in the next like 24 hours um, data of the picture. And uh, now I'm in heat, actually have to buy something to drink because I'm really thirsty and then I get one hour of free parking. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. Let me transport myself to the car, to the gym already or the gym parking lot and then I will tell you the exciting news that I was teasing about. So see you in a second. Alrighty, I have now teleported myself to the gym uh, and uh, yeah, the background and everything is not so nice but it's already also pitch dark outside. So I'm just gonna go for it and tell you the exciting news here. We just went live on Instagram with our new project which is called Unique Digital Creators which is basically a space to unite all different kinds of creators in Munich and uh, this is a project that we have been working with uh, Maggie and uh, we just started it because we wanted to have a community of people obviously we like creating content and uh, uh, we connected a lot and I feel like our friendship got much stronger through this love on social media so um, we just wanted to find more like-minded people to create a place where we can all meet, discuss, share ideas etc and it is now live so yay congratulate us and it's uh, yeah I'm super super excited so if you are into social media if you're in Munich um, then give us a follow. I think uh, it will be such a great place for us all to learn, to grow, to share experiences, inspire each other, collaborate, etc. Honestly, the possibilities are endless. 
and uh, I will make sure to keep you posted on here as well with like things that we are preparing etc we already have our first event happening and uh, yeah you can learn more about it on Instagram as well and that's basically it for today I'm gonna jump into the gym and uh, I think I will see you again tomorrow nothing else to update you today hello and happy Tuesday I am about to leave to work but I thought I will show you quickly my outfit of the day since I am working most of the day and I'm not really sure what to give you an update on and uh, I tried this like trendy black tie or black hair tie or black headband uh, thing and I'm not sure if I like it or not I mean it's really good for like day two or three hair because it just yeah is does your hair doesn't have to look perfect but I'm not like a hundred percent sure but I'm going with it anyway because I'm just going to work and let's see maybe it grows on me let me know what you think it always looks better on Instagram than it does on real people but uh, let me turn around and show you my outfit here is this uh, sweater I actually wore it also to one of our photo shoots on Sunday and I put like a longer shirt underneath because I'm wearing actually warm uh, thermal leggings underneath and uh, I didn't want my ass to be like totally hanging out so the shirt is hiding it kind of and this is just super warm and cozy outfit that I can you know have on and uh, yeah now I'm off to the office so I will update you again after work well, as you can see it is the evening it is dark and uh, today has been so uneventful that I have literally nothing to tell you about I came home from work and I don't know I just got such like winter blues for apparently no reason I just felt I don't know sad or down or kind of unmotivated didn't really want to do anything only wanted to eat crap which I also did and now I feel so bad about that and now I'm beating myself up that I ate crap and that I am you know being unproductive or being unhealthy etc uh, so I decided to go outside to walk it out because no matter how much I like to deny that going on a stupid walk for your stupid mental health really does help you sometimes so here I am doing that I will listen to an audiobook that will make me feel better hopefully and uh, that is it for today this, to this week to be honest in general is going to be very uneventful Compared to last week's I have nothing planned No meetings in the evening No meetings with friends um, No, you know, cool events Nothing happening So Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna show you or update you on I'm sure I'll think of something when I'm in a better mood um, but yeah, I guess this is something that I also want to be honest about that life is not always perfect and sometimes there doesn't have to be a big apparent reason why you're feeling down or stuff you know, we have our times, our moments and winter in Europe can get long and I'm definitely feeling it today I hope you are feeling better than me and uh, I will update you again tomorrow hopefully in a better mood. Peace out. Hello and happy Wednesday. I am working from home today as you can see from the similar background and um, yeah today is another honestly just work 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 day full of meetings. The weather outside is absolutely atrocious. It's like a hurricane out there so I don't even think I will go out for a walk or anything like that today uh, but I have planned a gym later on today but to kind of uh, 
fill out this section again or how to say to show you something from my day I thought I would talk to you about another thing that I set for myself for this year as like a new year's resolution so to say but actually I don't see it as a new year's resolution I just see it as a way to live my life and I just set these like guidelines for myself so I can follow them but I hope to do them all year every year today um, I finalized it in the morning and set it kind of like a list in stone of things that I want to do most days but of course we know that every day is not perfect uh, but we can aim for perfection so the point number one I have is to sleep daily minimum seven to eight hours ideally eight hours but I know that it's not always possible but I definitely don't want to go under seven hours and that's definite goal of mine to keep it that way another thing is 10,000 steps a day of course when I go to the gym when I'm in the office it's easier to achieve than on days like today where I'm staying most of the day at home um, but I still want to implement you know a walk whether it's in the gym or outside being active at home as well standing up every hour and uh, I think that is really important for our general health Next point that we talked about last year is reading and I definitely want to continue just to read daily even if it is just one page or five minutes, at least a little bit. Uh, then another point is meditation. I have been very bad with meditating in a sense that um, I really struggle to do it consistently but every time I do meditate I feel so much better so for this goal of mine is just to take five minutes a day I don't want to do like long massive meditations next is healthy eating or healthy diet right now I'm actually doing calorie counting because my goal is to lose a little bit of weight and I want to portion control myself but I know that that I will not be doing that forever but I but something that I do want to do forever is eat healthy, eat enough proteins, eat enough greens and vegetables. Next is two and a half liters of water every day and that is something that I really really struggle with. If I don't set myself like a specific goal I do not drink almost any water which ends up in me overeating because I'm too hungry but actually I'm not hungry I'm just thirsty and it ends up in me you know feeling crappy having headaches sometimes so water is definitely like top 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 priority. Then I also have uh, journaling as one of priorities. I love journaling and I have always felt so much better when I journal and I just want to continue with this habit. I and my last goal is less scrolling on social media. Now of course as a creator or someone that wants to be in this space it is tough to justify when do you scroll for research and when do you scroll just to waste time. Uh, but I have set now from today actually a goal of one hour and it's lunchtime and I have already surpassed it so no more social media for me today um, and it's incredible because if you think about it one hour a day is quite a lot but it just went like this I didn't even notice when I was on social media um, so again I just want to be really really mindful about that and like I talked last week I want to read more instead, be more present, be in the moment, maybe meditate, maybe talk with someone, etc. So these are like my eight goals that I will be focusing on in 2024, but hopefully also throughout upcoming years. And I will definitely give you some updates on that, on how it's going, etc. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what are kind of your goals that you have set, New Year's resolutions if you want to call them. Um, that or however but uh, with that I think I will not give you any more updates today because yeah there is just not that much happening and I will see you again tomorrow hello good morning and happy Thursday I'm about to go to work again and I guess this is now a tradition for me to show you a little bit of my outfits I am really feeling uh, like this outfit is very me and very yeah comfy but still you know office appropriate let me show you I turn around so on top I have this basic turtleneck but I like that they it has some buttons and uh, of course the color is unique and unusual 
but I think the highlight of the outfit are the jeans which are these super high-waisted jeans with the same golden buttons and on the bottom I don't think I can show you they are a little bit like wider so it gives a little bit of like a hippie 70s kind of vibes and I'm totally loving it but I also have to give you another update of this monster that I'm very angry with because she broke my work laptop yes so I was just uh, working in the morning before you know leaving and uh, went to the bathroom and came back to my laptop being looking like this because she dropped it from the table and uh, luckily I mean I'm very fortunate that my work will replace the laptop without any costs for me but this is super annoying and I'm really angry at her today she's been extra hyper anyway if you can imagine that yeah it's your fault go away go away you are punished <sighs> so yeah that's my Thursday morning amazing uh, but now let me get to work and I will give you an update a bit later hello I am back I am back from work and it's like 5 30 more or less and I got I just literally got home and I got an exciting delivery from mail which is this uh, taste 12 Munich book for 2024 and I did not know to be honest that this kind of a book exists but it was recommended by our friends and there are books like that hello for Berlin Düsseldorf Hamburg Cologne Munich and Stuttgart and it's basically a restaurant book for different restaurants that are like chosen specifically for Munich so often for example if you take one meal for 100 euros then the other meal is for free maybe I overdid it with 100 it's more like 40 euros or there's like different yeah maybe a drink included I have no idea I have to check this out this concept is totally new for me but uh, supposedly it's totally worth it even if you don't use every single restaurant that is here the book costs 40 euros and yeah even by going like once or twice you kind of get the worth out of it I have no idea but it books is really nice and uh, I am excited to go and try out these restaurants that maybe you uh, don't know about in normally or maybe it's a little bit out of your price range but thanks to this book it's a bit more affordable and if you will follow my vlogs then you will eventually find out about it so this is super cool and I'm very happy and uh, yeah hopefully we can get on to more restaurant experiences and uh, guess what maybe just maybe it's still not 100% sure we will go again to Passing Arkan because for the second time the glasses are finally done of Xava and uh, I hope that now they are all fine and that I don't have to go to Passing Arkan that often. I think this month I went more than in the last like six months before. This is definitely not the norm but uh, yeah it's uh, kind of an inside joke now that we're gonna go to Passing Arkan every time. So if we do go I'll show it to you and uh, I'll keep you updated and if not then see you tomorrow I think you all know the background of this already we are again in passing Arkad but there is one difference he doesn't have to do his mustache today well I have to but I don't have my wax with me. so hopefully our circle of coming to passing Arkad is now broken and I hope it's the last time for a while and uh, yeah, I hope also that your glasses are finally okay. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. And here are the new glasses. How do they feel? Good, light and bigger. Are they finally correct? I think so. And we stopped coming to Fatih Arkan because of them. So far it looks good. I have to get used to him, but... Perfect. I guess so. Good. It's good. And now... Now... TV. Media Markt. And on TV to buy screen. something for your work a screen a screen and then maybe dinner no, here because I'm too lazy to cook again you're not cooking anyway <laughs> I'm not cooking ever I'm too lazy to wait for you to cook <laughs> that's the real deal all right I'll do the last look they look good vlog please let Xava know 
How do you like the glasses? He's fishing for compliments. We are now checking all the wireless mouses and you know how they look. All normal, regular ones. And what does he choose? The weirdest one ever. What, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's a mouse. How do you use that? Like this. This is super weird. I could never. Perfect. Here it is. Happy customer. Happy deppy. And now there's all the normal keyboards. And again he chooses the weirdest one that is curved. But his brain is clearly also curved, so that's why he chooses all of them. <laughs> so now I know who the customer for this weird stuff is. Weirdos like this. And here is dinner, ramen soup and curry. Enjoy! Hello and happy Friday! Today we are not in Pazingar Khan, we are in Rimar Khan. <laughs> no, actually we are just here to quickly check something out and we are actually going to Maggie's place um, for... Yeah, now we're going to the toilet, but after this we are going to Maggie's place for dinner. We got invited for a dinner with friends, which is super nice and they live not far from here. So we just quickly stopped since we are a little bit early. Um, we tried to avoid all the traffic. Are you confused? <sighs> Unfortunately, we live on the total opposite sides of each other. So uh, on Friday after work there is like massive amounts of traffic and it still took us an hour to get her to get here which is a bit annoying but it is what it is. I'm sure we will have a lovely evening together. There's no toilet. My god, there is a toilet in a shopping center. Can we please find it? And uh, yeah. We want to go to Saturn because yesterday we didn't end up buying all the weird keyboards and weird mouses that Xava chose. Because we I have still to find the weird ones. Yeah, but we want to see, or you want to see, a better option, mostly for the screen. So we came here to Saturn, hoping that there is more options today. Got Aloe Vera. Hey, Aloe King. I am no Aloe King. Aloe, Aloe Vera. Vera King and gluten-free soy sauce because we think that this dude here has gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity so we want to try it out uh, this is a perfect shot to show our outfits here is my outfit of the day I'm wearing like a black jumpsuit dressy thing with these nice tights and this is outfit of the day of and yeah, next time we'll be at Maggie's and I'll show you a little bit what we're eating. They're cooking, they're cooking something fancy and nice. So I'm excited for that. And we brought Here's some nice wine. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Can you guess what we're eating by this beautiful animation? The one who guesses correctly gets something from me. A little comment. Isn't this minus one? No, this is not minus one. What did we press? This is zero. I don't know. You are the one that takes Hey, we places. just went out at the same spot. We didn't press anything. <laughs> this person. <laughs> we didn't press anything. We just left again. And that's how he drives also. Every time he drives, we get lost somewhere. Not trust him with navigation. Back this into one. an elevator. <laughs> See ya. Set me free. Come on, little girl. All you gotta do is set me free. Can't you see?
good morning and happy Saturday. Actually, it's not morning anymore. It's more like lunchtime. And uh, we are just having lunch and I thought that the lunch is so noteworthy that I have to show it to you. It was prepared by my private chef, chef Mr. Xava. Let me show you, it's so tasty for sure. How is it? I haven't tried it yet, I left it specifically untouched so you can see the real deal. Here it is. Rucola with some balsamico Crema. cream. Crema. Knocky. <laughs> no, I... Knocky. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's gnocchi. Potato gnocchi with some homemade pesto and some grana padano cheese and some tea. And this is bellissimo. You said you don't want milk because you're not a fucking English. Yeah, I am not. I am. Yeah, he has milk with tea. What weirdness levels continue here. And the cats, always with us. How do you love, by the way, our beautiful uh, under the TV table? Or si sideboard. I think it is uh, extreme design, it is beautiful. It is now almost uh, 7 in the evening and uh, honestly I have not filmed absolutely anything for you today. We enjoyed our time at home, chilling, uh, we went outside for a quick walk and uh, Xava finally found himself a um, monitor that we've been looking now for a few days. So that was a real success with a good price, exactly all the specs and everything. And uh, today was also super sunny, nice warm weather. But uh, since we didn't sleep that much yesterday, um, or we went to bed quite late, it was a super nice evening with friends. So yeah, today was more of like a chill recovery day. And now we are on our way to... Hello, Sol! Привет! And now we are on our way actually to a birthday party from a family member and uh, it's gonna be just uh, in their home nice dinner again like more like cozy with friends i cannot do one single update with her not being here so yeah we're right around the corner to go out and uh, see you tomorrow for the last day of the vlog which will also be quite chill let's see what happens there's no plans let's see you tomorrow Happy Sunday, hello, and uh, it is actually already Sunday afternoon, closer to the evening and we have just had like the most lazy Saturday ever, so that's why it's maybe not super eventful for the vlog, uh, but today we slept in super long, we chilled in bed, had some breakfast, took our blankets to the couch and just again chilled. We did go on a short walk because it was sunny and uh, beautiful weather and um, <clears throat> we just had to take a little bit of fresh air well it always takes a little bit of convincing from my side but uh, we did go for like 30 45 minutes um, and now actually Xava and the boys went to have their own fun so i'm home alone i'm going to probably take a bath enjoy a little bit of uh, face masks movies chilling and um, yeah, there is not much to show you today. It's just a cozy day at home. But I think weekends like these are also very important to kind of relax and get ready for the next week. Since last uh, few weekends have been very active, it does feel good to chill at home. Uh, but yeah, we have reached the end of this week's vlog. I think this week was a little bit less eventful than the weeks before. So definitely more realistic day in my life or a week in my life. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you again next week as always.